So now let's look at keeping records of all breaches. Up to now, we've focused on breaches of personal information that pose a real risk of significant harm. But the law requires that you keep and maintain a record of every breach of security safeguards involving personal information that is under your organization's control, regardless of whether the personal information involved is sensitive or the probability of the information being misused. It is important for your business to have good documentation of any privacy breaches that have taken place and to keep all the records for future reference. When you make a record of a security breach, you must include the date or estimated date of the breach, a general description of the circumstances, what personal information was exposed, whether or not the breach was reported to the Office of the Privacy Commissioner of Canada, the OPC, and if all affected individuals were notified. Every record must also include enough information for the OPC to assess whether you have correctly applied the real risk of significant harm standard. The records must also indicate that you have followed through by filing a report to the OPC and notifying affected people if the incident is deemed to meet the standard. If you determine that a breach doesn't pose a real risk of significant harm, be sure to include a brief explanation in your record that explains your reasons for not reporting it to the OPC or notifying affected individuals. Records should describe the type of information involved in the breach of security safeguards, but need not include personal details unless it's needed to explain the nature and sensitivity of the information. You must keep the record for 24 months from the day on which you determine that the breach has occurred. And remember, you must keep a record of every breach of security safeguards, not just those that are considered to present a real risk of significant harm to individuals.